Hi, I'm Steve with Lima Charlie Wood Designs. Uh, visit my shop at Lima Charlie WD, all one word. So you search, go to Etsy.com and then search uh, Lima Charlie WD and you'll get to my shop. <clears throat> I created this video to show, demonstrate and show the components of a new lock um, I'm using for two shelves that I sh sell on Etsy. Uh, they're concealment shelves with the hidden drop down. One is the classic model, which is shown here. Um, and then we also have a more modern um, design uh, that is more sleek and a little more contemporary or a lot more contemporary looking. So the shelf uh, without any options is a magnetic operated shelf. Uh, it will ship with a very flat rare earth magnet that's strong and then you just put it underneath a trinket. You can also buy these candlestick holders with them in there and then you just slide this over where the magnet is and the bottom uh, will come open. Uh, this one, I wanted to demonstrate the RFID. I also sell a fingerprint model. Um, so I'm going to take you for a trip. Sorry for making you dizzy. But I wanted to show you the component that is underneath. So this is for the fingerprint. So ignore this. This would not be in there if you got the RFID model. What you would have is this port here, uh, which is important because it, that is your backup power. If you, it does run on a single C123 battery, three volt battery that you can get at Walgreens or Amazon. The uh, lock will give you an audible alarm when the voltage gets too low, and then uh, it's not supposed to lock when the voltage even gets lower. But just in case uh, you're out of town or whatever, you miss all those warning signs, and uh, maybe the battery disengages or something goes bad with it. You always have, always want to add this to it. So you always have um, the, the uh, power backup. So I add that to the RFID lock. And I also sh add this cable that'll come with the shipment. It's to go to that 3.5 millimeter jack. And then it just has a regular USB that you can plug into a phone charger or laptop or whatever and then you'll be able to get power to your lock and operate it. So, uh, just like the magnetic one, it comes with, uh, however, it comes with uh, manager card and then user cards. And you can also get fobs and other things that'll work with it and program those in there too. Um, then uh, all you do, just like you did with the magnet, uh, you just slide it over to where your lock is and then it'll engage or disengage the lock and come open. So this model here also has the felt and a strut and a light. Uh, that comes on and then when you after you open after five seconds then the lock will engage again and then all you have to do is just lift up on it and it'll lock itself so what i also want to show you the other component of the lock is the cpu unit inside of it so i'm going to take you for another dizzy trip flip you over and come inside here so this actually has both uh, locks installed so this RFID unit and it's beeping because I left the card over the lock so I just got to move it uh, this is the unit let me give you a little bit more of a view that shows uh, it is an extra small unit that I like because it doesn't take up as much room this one here is the fingerprint model it's a little bit bigger this is actually three inches by three inches with an inch this is a, a lot less. It's probably about three quarters of an inch high. And then, as you can tell, it's probably about two, two and a half inches um, square here. And then it has that cable that runs out. And then that's your jack for battery uh, backup. So that is the component. Uh, both of the components needed to operate this. And... Again, it comes with a manager card, user cards. After five seconds, it locks. And you can see here that this has a strut and has a pretty heavy power and it's a power drill and a battery in here. So the strut is to help it from slamming down. Um, it will work fine without the strut. Um, you just need to you know, make sure you kind of carry it down with it uh, so it doesn't slam down so hard. Uh, but it works fine without the strut. You can put your own foam in here if you want. Uh, I sell the foam as well. That is enough to cover and you can cut out for whatever you want to put in there. A nice uh, fitted design if you want to use the foam. And uh, so anyway, 
just visit my shop uh, and you can message me with any questions. Again, it's Lima Charlie WD on let's Etsy.com. So Etsy.com and then search just Lima Charlie WD, all one word. Thank you.